it's not all fun and games. Did I make you feel like it's all fun and games here in the last episode? Well, you're wrong. I led you astray. This episode is very serious. You're gonna see me do some serious things. With some horrible eyebrows. Ooh, Lord, that's embarrassing. Anyway, take me seriously. Now those, those are beauties. In other news, look at the gift I just got from Arabella, my dresser. She just went to Munich and she got Super Dickmans. And look at this guy. Look at that little chocolate Super Dickman. He's saying, Dicker Spass. Then again, aren't we all? Hansel. Well, you must like candy. I like gummy bearshen. Oh, that's too bad. Cause all I got is this milk bearshen. That is so weird. It's totally gummy, just like a gummy bearshen. Germans love their white bears. Then again, don't we all? Am I right, ladies? Dick a Freunde, I like. Me too, girl. Serious episode. Look at these beautiful flowers my mom's friend got me. Look at those beauties. Aren't they so cool? And the best part is, they're called Safari Sunset. Not to be confused with Sephardic Safari, as Darren Chris used to call me in the show. <laughs> Which is appropriate. I'm a black Jew, yeah. So pretty. Yeah. Hey, so I was asked to do a warm up video for this week's vlog. And um, normally I really don't like to warm up in public because warm ups feel like something that, that wants to be really private and personal for you as uh, you prepare for the task at hand. Um, and you know, when you're warming up, you're not show ready. Um, that's the whole point of it. Uh, as Liz Kaplan says, when you're warming up, it's sort of like you're drawing up the blueprints. And then on, as, you, as you get your way through the warm up, you're laying the foundation. And so it's like, you know, a lot of times I start my warm up and I'm like, ooh, my voice is so tired, yada, yada, yada. Um, but then as I'm nearing the end of the warm-up, I start to feel like, oh yeah, there's my voice. I'm starting to get show ready. And so there you have it. It's it's the point of, of the whole warm-up is that you're warming up. Anyway, you'll see me uh, first warming up my entire body. Uh, Liz is so great about reminding actors and singers um, that the whole body is is really important in terms of singing and so I'll do a little bit of a little bit of n massaging my neck I had a nice full body massage yesterday so I'm, I'm pretty relaxed but it's always nice to remind my neck to loosen up <clears throat> so I'll do a little bit of that and just sort of waking up my muscles my joints and then I'll go into a really wonderful uh, sort of nicknamed pocket yoga technique that Liz does uh, that involves breathing air into my neck and then all the way down my spine, loosening up in the hips and uh, in the pelvic area and sort of breathing air into my back and uh, loosening up and just sort of getting air into my whole body before I begin uh, my tongue stretches, which are really fun. Loosening up all the areas of the tongue for singing, which is sort of fun and awkward but delightful. And then on to the vocal exercises, um, which are really great, weird exercises that Liz uh, has honed a technique for that really work so well for me. And this is just a small collection of all of the exercises that Liz has, but this is the one I'm working with today. And it's just great for <clears throat> relaxing the tongue and allowing my voice to sort of begin laying its foundation for the show. Obviously warming up is so important. Uh, for singers as well as hydration and proper sleep and proper nutrition. Um, I like I personally like to eat um, a lot of protein. I don't think an excessive amount but I, I like to eat a lot of it. Um, I like the way it feels with my singing voice um, but I understand that a lot of people have different different versions of proper nutrition and um, and the th along with the sleep last night I got very little sleep I just couldn't I just couldn't sleep. I think I had too much caffeine 
too late in the day, and so I had a lot of trouble sleeping, which makes singing actually really difficult, but a good warm-up will help that. So, here we go. Yagi, 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 Ping, Yagi, Ping, Yagi. Sometimes in order to create space in uh, sort of the back of the throat area and also get more breath support, um, Liz will have us do a bit of a snort, like a <gasps> and that immediately just creates space in your lungs and your chest and in the back of your throat. And sometimes the ping sniff method uh, also works to really um, it it's almost traps your nasal passage and then immediately the sniff sort of opens you back up in this really sort of weird way. <laughs> Yiggy! 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 I was laughing a few seconds ago because um, I feel like Suddenly while I was warming up, I started to realize that the faces in my room were like judging me. <clears throat> so like I have John over here being like, what is that noise? Hold that noise, I'm a stop. Then I have this girl being like, that's really rude. I wish that sound would stop. Then like that Hedwig is sort of like, yeah girl, live your life. I love to hear you rock out with your yiggies. You know how Coco is. She's like, I'm just so disgusted by these warms up warm ups. And then we got, we got Stevie over here being like, girl, stop even trying. You'll never sound like me. And then we got Iron Maiden over here, really over it. So I was trying not to laugh at myself. Anyway, um, that's that's that. Thanks for watching vlog number five. See you next week. Don't fail to treat your wife with due respect. Let there be nothing of the high and mighty suggestion that a mere woman can't possibly understand things. There are even realms in which you can look up to her as owning superior knowledge, and there are none in which she is to be despised. Never despise your wife. There are no realms in which this is a good idea. Because she will kill you with her mind and her cruel, cruel ways. Five minute call.